If you have ever taken a STEM AP class, more likely than not you had to use a calculator for various calculations. From complex integrals to statistics probability tests, let's break down the true potential your handheld calculator holds so you can get a 5 on the AP exams you will be taking this May and in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe, stick around for the last tip, and let's get started. For starters, this video will mostly focus on the physical handheld calc. Calc is short for calculator, guys. I'm just using slang. Considering the program-wide change in AP exam administration, we will have 16 fully digital AP exams, 12 hybrid AP exams, and 12 traditional ones in May 2026. As you may know, within the 28 total AP exams that are fully digital and hybrid, the lovely Blue Book testing application provides a built-in Desmos calculator for AP exams that require one. Now, the functionality of the Desmos calculator varies from graphing, scientific, or four-function basic one, depending on the AP exam. Now, despite all of this, you are still permitted to bring in a handheld calculator with you on the testing day if you choose to do so. Before you do though, and your teachers probably mentioned this, make sure the calculator brand and version you have is approved by College Board, ensure the functionality aligns with the AP exam you will be taking, and follow the exam day rules. It's a lot of information, so I will leave a link in the description with a website that covers the details regarding College Board's calculator policies. Now, with all that said and done, today, I am here to mostly cover the good old physical calculator, specifically the TI-84+. Plus. Now, unfortunately, since none of my college classes this semester required a calculator, and I don't have any batteries in my dorm, we have to transition. Now that it is up and working, let's look at some stuff you can do on here. If you're an AP Statistics student, you may be familiar with the STAT button, which allows you to build lists run calculations with them, and even perform probability tests. For AP Calculus A, B, B, C students, you can perform definite integral calculations for functions that cannot be algebraically integrated and derivatives of functions at certain points. You can also find zeros of functions and intersections. You just have to go to y equals, make your functions, go to calc, and then go to zero or intersect. You can do summation, go back to math and go at the bottom. This is for approx doing summation of Riemann sums or just approximating infinite series if you want to put in a really large value. And for the B, C students, in particular, you could also switch the mode to polar at the bottom right here, which would allow you to trace polar functions and find integrals of polar functions. And guess what? You could also switch to parametric for those problems involving with respect to time. And for AP Chemistry, there is a periodic table under the Apps button, which can provide useful information for those questions involving electron configuration and electronegativity. Now, unfortunately, my TI-84 Plus version is not that advanced. It's one of the old ones, but I believe TI-84 Plus CE has it. Now, obviously, I'm just reciting what you already know if you're taking these classes, but it also gives an insight to what students who are planning to take these classes have to prepare for. Let's jump to more general tips applicable to more AP classes. If you look at the bottom left, you will see the store function. This is useful if you wish to substitute a letter, which takes up less space on the calculator screen, to a number or a specific scientific constant. It is as simple as typing a value, uh, clicking the store button and then using the alpha key to choose a specific letter you wish to use. Um, if you wish to assign a different number to the same letter, just use store and it will override the initial assignment. And convenient method as storing values that with a bunch of decimals that must not be rounded until final answer. And instead of retyping values with a bunch of decimals, you can click second and answer on the bottom right right here, or simply click on the answer by going up with arrows to reuse the value. Note the answer stores your last calculation. Use store if you want to keep something long term. Just know that window and zoom buttons up here can allow you to find your functions from y equals in the graph section in case their range and domain are rather large. Honestly, just use Desmos for graph related questions. Don't bother looking at the small screen on your calculator. 
And for my last tip, if you need to keep track of a lot of information and variables, you can create programs under PRGM and store alphabetical characters to remember what already holds value and what doesn't. And while your school and proctors may require you to clear your calculator before an AP exam, College Board does not enforce this rule. You do not need to clear your calculator's memories before or after the exam, but you also are not allowed to take test materials out of the room using calculator memories. So just something to keep in mind. So that will be all for calculator tricks and tips. If I were to guess, eventually all APs will be digital and College Board will only allow Desmos calculator to be used. But until then, I hope you found this content informative. Let us know if you will be using any of these tips and if you learned something new, please do share with us. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe and have a great day.